fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What it do, y'all? Hey, guys. We are Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Today, we are checking out... Foods, foods that are banned in Europe, but not the U.S. Yeah. Like, if you've been following us, you know, recently we started incorporating food content, yeah. taste tests, and let me tell y'all, y'all got some dank-ass chocolate yes. and some great-ass crisps. Yep. But... It'd be interesting to see what foods are banned in Europe, but not in the U.S. Like and this. it's going to be interesting. Uh, we're probably going to have to make a follow-up that's flipped. You saw the, on the thumbnail, Mountain Dew was on that. I'm like, oh, my God, not my beloved Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. I, it, like, listen, the U.S. probably has a shit ton of sugary lab-created foods that should never be consumed. Right, right. That other countries are like... Oh, fuck no. We have health standards. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> limited food supply, We can. it's more easily accessible. Yeah. You know, here a burger costs a dollar, a uh, salad costs $5. But, you know, at that at that point, is it really a burger? Like, no. is it, it's mystery meat. Yeah, exactly. It plays the part. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, here's our friend uh, Simon. Yeah, yeah. We, we did the, uh, the Queen of England video. Yeah. Yeah. He's everywhere. Yeah. Let's just dive in, man. Let's see. Do it. The European Union is as suspicious as ever when it comes to foodstuffs containing chemicals, unnatural dyes, and meat treated with synthetic growth hormones. Since 1981, the EU has had stringent rules for the importation of food to its markets, and those rules have only gotten stricter with time. In 1989, it banned as many as six growth hormones, launching a trade dispute which has lasted 30 years and counting. In 2003, it permanently banned one synthetic growth hormone while provisionally banning five others and a whole host of dyes chemicals and preservatives are persona non grata in the EU as well. From hard-shelled candy delights, milk, dyed salmon, and beef and pork treated with all kinds of hormones, here are 10 foods banned in parts of the European Union that are not banned in the United States. Yeah, like, we have a lot of preservatives in our food. Like, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the stuff we eat is unnatural, and as a result, we're a, we are a unnatural uh, society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All that red, red food. It, it, it reminded me of when me and my wife were on honeymoon in St. Martin and mm -hmm. we ate at this French restaurant and the steak I had was like one of the best I've ever had. And I come to find it's from Argentina, not from the United States. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. So that makes sense. Like you want good steak, you go Brazil, Argentina. I, I, that's what I would say. They, yeah, they they do steak. They do beef well. They they do beef well. Not well, but well. Yes. Get, you get me. That was a good food pun. <laughs> All right, let's go. Number 10, Skittles. While not banned in the entire EU, Skittles are banned in Sweden and Norway for containing yellow dye number five and six. In most parts of the EU, all that's required of the Wrigley Company, a division of Mars Inc., is to include a disclaimer suggesting that the candy could cause adverse health effects and hyperactivity. Still, it's thought that these dyes can cause allergic reactions in some people, and FDA tests have shown that red dye 40, yellow five, and yellow six all contain cancer-causing agents like benzodine and 4 amino biphenyl and the levels released in the body could be much higher than the FDA is reporting thanks to the fact that routine tests tend to find less of these cancer-causing carcinogens than when they actually pass through the colon. Still, we've never heard of anyone in the US being hospitalized after eating Skittles, but maybe that's just what they want you to think. Number nine. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never heard anybody getting hospitalized for eating Skittles. Choking on Skittles. Choke one. Um, and tried too hard to taste the rainbow. Yeah, uh, I just, I, yeah, like, okay, I get it. You know, it's not natural. Right. The neon colors aren't natural. No, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> Red we, 40, that's then caused uh, oh, been God. to hyperactivity. Oh, my God, but still, like, they've been after Red 40 for a long fucking time. Oh, yeah. Even the Red m and suffered. Oh, yeah. Because of Red 40. Uh -huh. And then all that shit with uh, Mountain Dew. With oh the, yeah, with that yellow something. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Milk. 
RBGH, or RBST milk. The main reason cited by the European Union for banning both recombinant bovine growth hormone and its synthetic counterpart, recombinant bovine somatotropin, RBST, officially is due to animal cruelty concerns, but there may be other adverse health effects linked to the use of these hormones. Both RBGH and RBST have been tenuously linked to the developments of certain cancers. In addition to that, the FDA found that further study would have to be conducted to determine the impact these hormones would have on the liver and other organs. But in addition to the potential adverse health effects of RBGH in humans, cattle treated with the growth hormone are more likely to come down with a nasty case of mastitis, an inflammatory reaction in the outer tissue caused by infection from microorganisms. As a result of this disease, cattle in the US are treated with antibiotics, eliminating mastocyst infections, but potentially causing other problems further down the line. Mm. Although the World Health Organization is primarily concerned about the over-reliance and overuse of antibiotics in humans, claiming that this could lead to the evolution of a superbug, 90% of antibiotics consumed aren't taken by humans. They're fed to otherwise healthy animals. And experts warn that this could lead to our livestock essentially becoming superbug factories. As the bacteria they harbor become more and more resistant to antibiotics, it's only a matter of time before these traits get passed on to bacteria that, makes that are sense. harmful to humans. That makes Number sense. Number eight. Yeah, like, that makes sense. Yeah, like, that's probably how, uh, uh, some dude ate a in China ate a bat, and now then the whole world shut down for two years. Yeah, but that makes sense. The more antibiotics you give an animal that you consume a product from, whether it be milk or meat, um, the bacteria will morph. Yeah, and you have to up or change the antibiotics. So eventually, you're slowly prepping this super bug. Right, right. and that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah, you yeah. know, um, but um, you you can't put some diseased no. beef on the shelf or some no. I'm uh, gross milk. Still drinking there. milk. You're done drinking milk. No, I'm still drinking. Oh, milk. Oh, you're still drinking milk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? I'm not gonna put water in my cereal. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but you're not gonna put oat milk in there either. No, that's no. too a little too hipster for you. Yeah, no oat or or almond or soy or no, no. What are we gonna eat our cookies with? Seriously. Papaya, corn, and soy. Papaya, corn, and soy. The genetically modified organisms or GMOs used in vegetables and fruits in the US have allegedly been linked to some nasty health problems. However, whether this is actually the case, we just don't know. While it is true that the US treats its produce and fruit with GMOs to make them more resistant to different diseases, and this can be largely beneficial, more research does need to be conducted in order to determine which of these is harmful to humans. Unlike the US and the FDA, the EU takes a far more cautious approach when it comes to approving GMOs, meaning that they must pass rigorous tests and environmental monitoring before they are deemed safe for consumption by citizens in their countries. However, even their system is not perfect. Recently, a batch of GMO-treated papaya began circulating through EU-controlled markets. The culprits appear to be farmers in Thailand who mass-produced GMO-treated crops. Number seven, breads containing a zodiac. Okay, I, I, I anti-GMO, um, anti-GMO sentiments are based off of you know wanting to have your fruits and vegetables be as pure as possible, but at the same time they go bad faster and. You can't get them to places where it's not as accessible uh, and yeah. but then again you're just gonna buy them anyway to because in grocery stores in america uh you go in and the grocery store uh produce section is to the right because we for some reason shop counterclockwise and you buy the vegetables and then you're more you feel more justified in your mind to Get that bag of, uh, of chips, yeah, and more I, unhealthy stuff. I just feel like it. It always it always comes down to money. Yeah, uh, yeah. Eating organic is no shit. Is gonna be healthier. Period. Like, there's no questions. But it doesn't look good, right? Because there are marks on it, bruises on it. Yeah. Like, everyone claims, oh yes, I want organic food. Uh. Do Across you? the board, if it looks the way it, an organic fruit should, like right out of your garden, and you're going to a supermarket to pay for that, no, you won't. No, no you won't. No, you want something no, no, no. pretty and tomato, I don't know how to say it. It's pretty. Therefore, buy it. Yeah. Ugly, don't buy.
But the ugly ones are actually the tastiest. Yeah, but that's not how consumer minds work. At least here in this country. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Reds containing... I'm not even going to try and pronounce cool. that word. Cool. Carbonamide. Azote carbonamide, ADA for short, is a chemical used to bleach breads in order to increase their shelf life. Recently, companies like Subway, McDonald's, and other fast food restaurants have come under fire for using this chemical. ADA is also the chemical that allows bubbles to form inside foams and plastics like vinyl. The EU banned ADA because of its potential harmful effects on human health. Both potassium bromate, a chemical used in bread that helps it rise in the oven, and ADA have been linked to kidney and thyroid cancers in rats. So if China, Brazil, and the European Union have all banned the use of this chemical in their breads, well, why haven't the US? The fact of the matter is that the FDA just doesn't think it's dangerous. After multiple studies, it's ruled that it's not harmful in humans. The question you have to ask yourself is, well, which research do you trust more, and why? Number six, chlorine wash chicken. Cl okay, before we get to that, yeah, we love our white bread here in America. Yeah, um, we know it's not white bread. Yeah. They, they have to make it white bread. Right, right. That's to make it white. <laughs> How do you do that? You gotta, you gotta bleach it. Yeah. Even my papa's recipe for, uh, for fresh baked bread. Like, like I don't, uh, I don't have, I'm not able to get my mitts on some ADA, uh, so I can't make it completely white. But it's tastier than anything I buy in the grocery store. There's, there's some evils we, we live with. Yeah. Banning that gonna affect. The, the McDonald's price of a burger? Probably not. You know, or know. probably it'll probably go higher. Yeah, like, and well, so, like a, a nickel, something like that. What if they exclude the ADA? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. But we'll probably never find that out. No, because they're not going to do that. No. Oh. And why? Number six, chlorine wash chicken. Chlorine plays many roles in the industrialized world. It's a powerful tool for cleaning water supplies, which otherwise might become contaminated and lead to the development of cholera when ingested, a disease which is extremely fatal if left untreated. But it's also used to clean other things, like chicken. Chlorine wash chicken means just that, chicken that's been washed with chlorinated water. According to most websites devoted to chicken and all things related to chicken, <laughs> it's the internet, of course these websites exist, chlorine washing is a food safety practice, which helps keep harmful bacteria from growing on poultry. But while the EU doesn't think that washing your poultry in chlorinated water will lead to adverse health effects, they do think it's a method of covering up poor hygiene practices. This understandably has made US exporters incredibly angry as it's a decision not based in scientific evidence, but rather on paranoia. Number five, instant. Now, man, I love me some fried chicken. I lo Americans love a chicken. Ah. Uh, uh, Okay, uh, my problem with this is, would I eat it off the rack after it's been washed? No. No. Would I eat raw chicken anyway? No. No. You, you cook it. You cook it to an eternal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. Yes. And that is when you eat it. Yeah. I'm not like, oh, is this just washed? <laughs> Let me just chow down on it. No, because I'll probably get more sick because I just consumed raw chicken, right? Rather right. than chicken washed in chlorinated water. Yeah, I didn't. First, I didn't know that you know chickens were washed with chlorine. Uh, so it tastes like chicken. Yeah, because I guess they they cleaned it off. Yeah, and w most of us will stick our our bodies in a chlorinated pool yeah. too. I'm so like, well, all right. And how many of that? You open your eyes in the pool. Yeah, guess what? Like, yeah. And that chlorine smell, that's not the chlorine, because someone pissed in there, yep. and that's the chlorine doing its thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's maybe coming off super ignorant. You know how some people, like, this is a hot topic for them. Yeah. Is is this. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't, it, that argument doesn't go far No. with me. I'm just like, I hear you. I respect you. But now I'm going to go over here and eat my chlorinated chicken. Yeah, you're, you're going to go get that bucket from KFC. Yeah, I'm still going to eat my chlorinated chicken. <laughs> but I respect your opinion. But it, 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 mean, it, mean, it means that all the chicken dishes that I make in uh, the house, like, I guess I don't have to be as careful with chicken. In, no, don't take that yeah, advice. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't take that, that advice. That, no, don't don't put that out there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, but I'm not take, eating chicken sushi anytime soon. Yeah, no. No, no, that's it. Like, cook it. Yeah. Cook your food. You better not. Yeah. <laughs> God. 
All right, all right. Don't you insult instant mashed potatoes, uh, Simon. He's gonna. <sighs> Number five, instant mashed potatoes. While the FDA will argue otherwise, the preservatives butylated hydroxyanazole, BHA, and butylated hydroxytololine found in instant mashed potatoes, and pretty much every single packaged food you buy in the US, have been known to cause some cancers in rats. They're also known to impair blood clotting when consumed in high quantities, among other symptoms like hyperactivity. BHA and BHT are used primarily to prevent foods from excreting oils. This prevents them from going rancid and extends their shelf life. And you can probably guess what the European Union did about this. If you guessed that they outright banned them, then congratulations, you are correct. <laughs> the strange thing about the situation is that the FDA admits that BHA and BHD are probably a bit carcinogenic in nature. The FDA certified these food additives as GRAs, generally recognized as safe, but this just means that they're only regarded as safe up until a certain amount is consumed and never underwent pre-market review. Number four, Mountain Dew. You oh, might oh no. Well, first okay, of all, before, before you break my heart let's yeah. uh let's break my heart this way instant like, mashed potatoes like I, it's good instant mashed potatoes are good i mean they're not as good as fresh mashed potatoes right and was, you can always tell instant mashed potatoes but they play the part they do they play the part i'm not saying go consume tons of them mm -hmm. but one packet yeah, and, and, and that's I'm, and that's a great rat deterrent. If they're not eating BHA or BHT or B A B A T H whatever, whatever is the fuck they're saying, then hey, rats are gonna rats are not gonna fuck with your instant mashed potatoes. No, they're not because it causes cancer in rats. Yeah, and like it, odds are good you're storing it down in the uh, your your uh, what you call it the doomsday cellar <laughs> yeah when like, the apocalypse happens exactly you're not gonna live that much longer yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> of radiation. There's, there's fucking doomsday going on yeah i don't think you give a shit about instant mashed potatoes yeah i am i am staring at you in southern no because uh uh, uh, instant mashed potatoes is a curse word around uh, my family down south. Well, of course, of course. I'm not saying this is a staple. <laughs> I'm just saying this has helped many a people out in a in a pinch. In a pinch. Yeah, yeah. I'll give them that. It, it you don't you don't rely heavily on instant mashed potatoes ever. Right. You you only break out instant mashed potatoes because there's an oh shit moment. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's when you break it out. Yeah. I saw this one thing uh, I, on a TikTok or something of uh, uh, this one girl found out her man was cheating. So it was raining. It was about to rain. So he, she put down uh, 30 things of instant mashed potatoes and it started raining. And it, she got, got revenge on her cheating boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's a good, good use for old it. instant mashed potatoes. Uh-huh. Oh shit. Sorry, I'm on the wire. All right. Uh, I don't Let's want... I don't want to click it cuz Mountain do Dew it. got me through like uh... high school. <laughs> so, here we go. Let's see how bad it is for you underwent pre-market review. Number four, Mountain Dew. You might be surprised to learn that your favorite lemon lime soda may contain a chemical typically used in a flame retardant, and this is an ingredient that has been banned in over a hundred countries. The FDA tested the ingredients in Mountain Dew and found that they lacked enough conclusive data on one of its main ingredients, brominated vegetable oil, to decide whether or not it was safe to consume, although it's still labeled as GRAS. Of course, across the pond, it's a different story. Because it competes with iodine for receptor sites in the body, high levels of brominated vegetable oil in humans can lead to thyroid problems, autoimmune diseases, and potentially cancer. In fact, bromine is considered a toxin. Although brominated vegetable oil is still legal in the United States, Pepsi and Coke decided to remove the ingredient from their soft drinks after public backlash. Number three, okay. farm salmon. Okay. All right. So my, my, my heart is not 100% broken, so no. we don't have that thing in it anymore. Yeah. Okay. But I definitely drank it. Yeah. <laughs> like I definitely I drank, drank it too. That. Yeah. We had, and, and we're still alive to tell the tale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh, sorry. Being a little dramatic there. Gotta love a flame retardant. Ugh. That means I can't catch on fire inside out. Yeah. That's that's why when you fart, you never catch on fire. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mountain Dew. Yeah. Thanks, Mountain Dew. Getting my back from the inside out. That's right. 
are soft drinks after public backlash. Number three, farmed salmon. Eating salmon has all kinds of health benefits, but people consuming anything other than fresh water or organic salmon might be consuming a harmful carcinogen. The European Union has outright banned farm-raised salmon for good reason. So what exactly separates farmed salmon from freshwater salmon? Well, that's the fact that salmon that are raised on farms are typically fed an unnatural diet of grain, antibiotics, and other drugs that leave their meat an unhealthy looking gray. Propagators of farm-raised salmon use a chemical known as astaxanthin to dye the unhealthy gray away. You're probably guessing astaxanthin has been banned in the EU due to health concerns, and you'd be right. What's more is that freshwater salmon growing up on natural food sources retains a vibrant pink quality. Number two, US. Yeah. Uh, it, Interesting. For, for like a long time, we uh, bought uh, salmon frozen at Sam's Club, and I'm, it makes me wonder, like, was that farm raised? Hell yeah. Or... You're talking about Sam's Club? Yeah. The mass produced? Yeah, yeah that, no. that was farm oh, raised. 100%. Yeah, and we got 100%. that. 100%. And we got that, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the coloring thing. Yeah. So do we. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They're not catching salmon in that much quantity. Right. Ex you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, shit. Yeah. Could you imagine? Deadliest catch with s salmon catchers. Uh -huh. if, you, if they're catching that much salmon. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or wicked tuna. Something yeah. like that. Jesus. Ugh. Salmon growing up on natural food sources retains a vibrant pink quality. Number two, U.S. pork. Pigs in the United States are typically given food laced with ractopamine, a growth promotion drug which helps animals remain lean. The drug basically mimics the effects of stress hormones, allowing for the production of more meat while keeping feed consumption relatively low. So what might be the problem with this? Well, the company that produces the drug, Elanco, did their own testing on the drug, and this might be a decent indicator that some corners might have been cut. Shortly after the FDA approved the drug for use in American pork products, farmers began reporting that more and more pigs became non-ambulatory, which is a fancy way of saying that they can't stand or walk. These pigs tend uh, to get treated very poorly in U.S. Oh, slaughterhouses, getting trampled and dragged by workers and electrically shocked by cattle prods in a cruel effort to get them moving again. More than 218,000 pigs are recorded as having this condition. The FDA accused a lanco of withholding information. But despite this news, the drug is still allowed in the U.S. All that's changed is a big old disclaimer listing the drug's side effects. On this one, we can't really blame the Eve for banning it. Sometimes being cautious pays off. Number one. Oh, man. Well, I mean, yeah, man, that's that's some shit. And once, all right, I'll put it this way. Once the FDA allows something to ban it, oh, my Lord, the hurdles you must jump through. Uh, because yeah. then you're messing with corporations. Oh, yeah. Who... It's all money, guys. It's yeah. money. Yeah, we all know that America's run by corporations. And yeah. People in Washington, it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. What What's the, the mass-produced pig farmer going to say? Exactly. Like, uh, nah, bro. Nah. Like, I'm not giving you your $20 million check payoff this year. Right, right. I need, I need to pay for my third home in New England or yeah. something. Like, I haven't seen a pig for 40 years. Yeah. Like, and, like, the... The part where he said, like, uh, a lot of these pigs, like, they can't walk. Yeah. Like, I've heard that about t turkeys, too. Like, yeah. They just literally, get too big to fucking... Right. Like, in order to make more turkeys, that farmers literally have to uh, initiate turkey sex. That's crazy, In man. order for us to eat well on Thanksgiving. Like that, and that, that I'm against. Like, uh, 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 like uh, it, I know this is a whole, like, we're bordering, like, PETA stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, like, treat the animals right, even though they are just going to be consumed. Yeah, yeah. You know? Give like, them a happy life up until. Yeah, like, okay, like, I get it. You don't have to name them. Yeah. You don't have to go out and name them and create a Facebook page for them. But at the same <laughs> right. time, like, don't treat them like shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, be humans. Yeah. And, like, that's just, that's sad, too. Yeah. Because, you know, like, you're stuck in that cage as an animal for... And, and you don't have anything to look forward to. Like, you would think that would be the one thing you look forward to is to make uh, another one of you. No. <laughs> and you can't even do that without help. They're like the embodiment of Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> stuck so stuck in there. Can't so do anything. So depressing. Yep. I'll tell you. Huh.
Sometimes being cautious pays off. Number one, US beef. Much like the EU's reasoning on banning US sourced milk, meat sourced from cattle raised on growth hormones cannot be imported to the European Union. Believe it or not, this decision has resulted in a long standing trade dispute between the US and the EU, lasting 30 years and counting. Unlike milk, however, the ban on US beef extends to six different growth hormones, with estradiol being permanently banned and five others provisionally banned. This has resulted in US retaliation in the form of tariffs on select food imports from the EU, an action that the EU has heavily criticized. Not all US beef is banned in the EU, though. Just recently, a deal was reached to allow a certain market share for companies looking to export organic beef, but the tariffs do remain. The US claims that the EU's decision is not based on scientific evidence and that they're not treating farms that use synthetic growth hormones fairly. Man. I, I don't think I'm smart enough to even comment on this thing. No, like, no. I mean, it's, it's a lot of it... Um, at least most of it is, um, you know, no shit Sherlock. We've grown up in this country. We know we've gotten a bit of an idea of how it operates. Like, I'm not going to argue with anyone that says what I what I eat isn't healthy. Like, of course. I didn't not. get this way by <laughs> eating healthy. Yeah, we, I didn't get this uh, <laughs> luscious no. vigor by eating carrots. <laughs> Full-bodied figure, Spencer. Yes, a father uh, figure. Yes. No, no, no. I'm, this is the Not dad body. You're the father yeah. figure here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, but it, it's like, okay, you shouldn't have to add food for it to be consumed. Right. right. I get that. I 100% get that. Yeah. Will I still consume food? Yes. Yeah. Well, do we see a changing in our lifetime? Probably not. Yeah. Unless we're going to make our own commune and grow our own food. And, like, that's... And Ain't nobody got time for that no more. And that's what that's unfortunately that's what it comes down to. Yeah. You know, you 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 eat shit, and 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 you just you just live. Yeah, that's it. Even though even though what you eat kills you. Mm-hmm. Everything's gonna kill you eventually. Yeah. I mean, that's how we see it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I I mean I I see it. How about yeah. you? Yeah. No, I just I just feel like, yeah, you 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 eat, you die. Pretty much. You gotta uh, that be, wasn't really deep. It's like... You're, you're here for a good time, not for a long time. Yep. That's yeah. it. But, but hey, Simon, two thumbs up. Thanks for the great uh, video. Hell yeah. Uh, it, was, it was very informative. Very. Uh, it was good discussion piece. I'm glad that you did your homework. So yeah. we don't have to. Yeah, exactly. Thank you just you. get to react yeah. to it. And <laughs> Cheating talk, off them. It's talk cool. with our people about it. Yep. Let us know what you think. Um, in the meantime, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the bell and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Till next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. See y'all next time. Later.